Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video! That's right, work stopped for like a single day, so I can finally record a video! <laughs> so what am I going to be talking about today? Well, I wanted to talk about something that's upcoming, that's coming up pretty close, and it's going to be here for the six year anniversary. So, I was looking at this banner, because they released this after I released my, hey, here's what's coming up for the next month in Fake Grand Order, and they made sure to release it on April 30th to make sure that it was the ultimate, like, nah, he's just wrong 100% about this one. But they had a banner, and it has Song Zong, and it has all the Mendius, and I looked at the banner, and I was thinking, should I make a video on this on something, and I realized, oh wait, no, these guys are just coming up free for the anniversary. There's no reason to be summoning for this. And then it made me realize maybe there's not enough people who realize this, but yes, there are. there is going to be a free SSR for the six year anniversary. So I want to talk about the units that are behind them and kind of look at what the selection is. In case you don't know, and uh, yeah, maybe come to a conclusion here of which one I'm going to pick, even though I think I've already decided long ago which one I'm going to pick. But yeah, I can click. I, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me which one you plan to pick up for yourself. Um, there's actually a lot of good choices in it, and there's a lot of units also here that I just don't get re-ran very often, and it's nice to pick them up, but yeah, let's go right into it. Feel free to tell me. So yeah, this is the six year anniversary stuff. Uh, one of the campaigns is called the Special Summon, which is, uh, this is for all for Japanese stuff. Again, I don't know the exact date for our anniversary, I just know it's, I think, in another month or two. Uh, it's earlier than it was for JP, so... There's that. But anyway, here are the servants that are going to be on it. We have Altera, we have Saber, we have Saber Sun, we have Arjuna, we have Orion, uh, we have Napoleon, we have Tesla, we have Saber Lancer, we have Enkidu, we got Karna, we got Bernadamonte, we got Achilles, we got Europa, we got Ozymandias, we have Quetz, we have Maeve, we have Drake. We have Anastasia, we have Song Zong, we have Sherazade, we have uh, El Malloy, aka Waver, we have Tamamo, we have uh, Elk Sakabihime, or just Hime, which is what I'm going to call her from here on out. We have Jack the Ripper, we have Lucia Wynn, we have Vlad, we have Ku Colin Alter, we have Song Yu, we have Nightingale, we have Jean. Or I guess Jean, whichever way it's actually pronounced, I don't know. Setonia, and then we finally have Janako, which is the mysterious elephant here at the end. Ah! And yeah, those are the units that are going to be on here. If you're curious about which ones I actually think are good, I think the best choice, if you're just someone who's just straight up looking like, I don't care about my feelings, tell me about which one of these is just straight up good. I think from the Saber side, uh, Saber is the best one on here. Her abilities are crazy. For the archer side, I think it's probably a toss-up. <laughs> I don't... I actually don't know if any single one of these is really... I have Arjuna. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give it to Arjuna. And the reason is that he comes with a monkey. Monkey. Who wouldn't want... Monkey and Rubber Ducky. What more do you need? What, do, what does Orion bring you? A single target anti-male. What does Napoleon bring you? Drake, but bad. What does Tesla bring you? I don't, I'm not, I'm actually, I think he's also an AOE unit that's also just like built like Drake. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's just kind of increase natural born. Is he doesn't not have a 50% MP rate? Yeah, he does, okay. No, that's MP generation, so he's not anything like them. Never mind, not even worth a discussion here. But feel free to tell me anything about them if you actually have a super. Arjuna's the best one, he has a monkey. From the Lancer side, I would probably say it's another... It kind of depends on your box. I really like Bradamante, but she's also... <laughs> it's She's really cool. That's the reason why I like her. Um, she's not even the best <laughs> Lancer AoE quick unit. And she's a 5-star. The 4-stars are better than her. So if you're looking for her for that, you probably aren't going to have much, but... Uh, it's probably Karna. It actually is straight up just Karna with his single target, and he also has like a different spirit to dress as well. So it might just be Karna. Oh yeah, especially with what's coming up with the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see Karna being very good. Only 25% NP gauge is very weird to me, but I'm sure he makes up with it in damage and stuff like that. 
But either way, I still stand that it probably stands, depends on your box. The best one for Ryder is obviously Quetz. There's no other question demands about it. It's Quetz nonstop. I don't care if you look up your stats and say, technically speaking, Ozymandias does more damage. I don't care. Next question. Now we look at casters. <laughs> um, so this is all very dependent on, again, your box. Because I actually think, in terms of pure power, Shirazade is extremely good with double Castoria. If you don't have Castoria, um, Tamamo is actually very good because she can be used with uh, Castoria. Because you actually don't need two Castorias. It's kind of overkill. You can kind of be just fine off of one Tamamo and a Castoria, and then you can just kind of make your builds from there. And then the same thing can kind of actually be said about Waver, even though I think Castoria, uh, Tamamo does a better job of buffing specifically just arts units. Waver's just kind of an all overall very good unit. But in general, this ticket a lot of the time was called the free waiver button. That a lot of people would call waiver a free to play unit because you could just pick them from the ticket. And you could definitely do that. You can almost never be too bad off with a 50% generic buffer to anything, to be honest. I haven't used them in years, but that's only because mine's already Bond 10 because of all the help he gave me out in the early days. Definitely worth having. And I also really like Zong Zong, and I think Anastasia is just not a good, a good version of Shirazade, but I'm sure there's someone out there who's a big fan of Anastasia. Feel free to tell me about your Anastasia meta ideas. I will gladly listen to them. I just, I actually have her, I just don't use her very much because I have Shirazade. And I think they're both arts, right? Yes, they're both arts, but the difference is that she's four hits, and Shirazade is like... Maybe eight hits? Five hits. One hit more. Better. It feels like eight hits. <laughs> That's just the pure power. She also does have a strength ending, which helps a little bit. Anyway, let's move on to Assassins. It's probably Lucia Wen is the best out of all these, though I think Jack the Ripper is very good if you're someone who's fighting against a female because she deals bonus damage to females, and she has a very quick heal on her. Hime is kind of going for a very specific thing that you have to go out of your way to kind of support her because of her noble phantasm, so not the greatest, but she, she could be used in some silly ways. Next, we have someone sending me a text message that I'm not going to look at. We have Nightingale. Uh, no, she's not the best one. Koo Colin is probably the best out of Berserker. Nah, showing you is really good at quick AoE farming, I think. Because he's a quick berserker. And he's able to give himself NP gain, I think. Uh, he doesn't do that. Maybe he just hits a whole bunch. No, he only has five hits. I remember him being very pretty good, though. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But in terms of single target units, uh, unit has not aged as well as Kukalan has. He's got basically everything you would say that is a negative towards running a Berserker, which is related to uh, they die very quickly and they get instantly one shot. He kind of has a kit that is 100% feels built to just counteract all of it. He reduces that crit attack chance, which is the one thing that a lot of Berserkers have um, problems with, is that they randomly take a crit attack chance and just die because <laughs> a single crit ruins their life. Uh, it's okay, but he also has protection from arrows, so he grants self of himself some evasion. And he also has a Guts, and these are on a 7 turn cooldown, a 5 turn cooldown, and a 6 turn cooldown. So perfectly fine and acceptable. And like I said, he has single target, he crunch, he also has a way to get rid of some of the most annoying defensive buffs, including uh, the newer one, which is the anti-purge defense, which is good, is definitely needed. Uh, and yeah, and in general, he's aged very well. A long time ago, I made the mistake of saying, like, maybe he's not that good anymore, because I don't see him anymore. And they very quickly shot me down and gave me a lesson, which is why I always ask now, hey, tell me about a unit, because I love to stay as informed as possible and hear about him. But he's very good. He's a very solid choice for it. Uh, and yeah, I kind of like Vlad at the same time, but there's not much to say about Vlad. He's everywhere. Vlad. He's an arts. He's an arts berserker. He's pretty cool. This one has to hit a whole bunch. Ten hits. Okay. Oh, it's finally got the hit right. And there's only one pick for all these. Jean is cool. She's If you're someone who's really into the idea of going 500 turns on a single fight, Jean is your girl. That's literally what she's built for. 
power to the people. Setonia, I don't think there's much to say about Setonia. Other than she's story locked, so if you're a big fan of Ilya and you need the and you want Setonia, this is your best bet because story lock getting story lock servants sucks. And yeah, I think there's a decent amount of which one of these are story locked? I think from these, um not story locked, story story locked. Is Tesla really story locked? He's story why okay, that explains why I don't have him. Uh Tesla's story locked, she's story locked. Uh Quetz is unfortunately story locked. I think Maeve is story locked as well, isn't she? Yeah, she's story locked. How the fuck did I get no, okay, never mind. I know how. I summoned for her. Is Europa? No, Euro how the fuck does that make sense? Europa is directly related to a story mode. That's where she comes from. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh Lucian Wynn has to be story locked. Yeah, okay, yes. Cause he's big in the in the Lost Belt 3. Uh, and then from there, yes, he is story locked as well. She's story locked, and Janako shouldn't be story locked. Correct. Okay. So those are the story locked units. Those are, if you're a big fan of those units, this is your best chance of actually getting them because story locked units are just the biggest pains in the asses to try and get. Um, as someone who has tried and failed multiple times to get Quetz to NP5, the reason I always summon on a lot of her banners is that she's a limited unit who is not 100%. She's like an even more limited version of limited because she exists on the story banner. And the only people I know that summon on story banner are crazy people like Common. He's the only one that I know who summons and gets rewarded for it. So maybe it's actually good to summon on story. But I think the story, every time I've ever tried to summon on story, it's like I get nothing but shitty unfeatured CEs. So, like I said, I think this ticket's a good chance for you to get a story lock servant that you really like. It's a good chance for that. But yeah, now in terms of, hey, which one of these should you actually go for? I still think that because Fago is the game that it is that you should always go for the unit that you actually legitimately care about. Like, if you care a whole bunch about Altera and you've been playing the game since the beginning and you're just like, damn, I really want Altera, and even though every part of me knows that Saber is the better unit, I would still say you should probably go for Altera because that's the one you actually legitimately give a shit about. And in general, this game is going to be... 100 times better if you just go for the units that you care about the most even though i know for a fact there's a lot of units on here that i don't have which is from this row i have all of them from this row i'm missing tesla from this row i'm missing uh lancer over here from this row i have all of them because i kept going for quets so i just kept getting on the and actually i don't have Europa. that's the only one i'm missing from the caster side i have all of them from the assassin side i'm missing lucia win and i'm missing hime from the Berserker side, I'm missing uh, Kukalan over here, and I think Shi Yu. And then from these other three, I don't I have all of them, so it's perfectly fine. Um, even with all that kind of mixed in, and I have units that I know for a fact that I should get because it's your best chance of getting it, so you don't have. There's a part of me that still just want to get Quetz and call it a day. A call it a day. It's really between her and Saber Lancer for me. That's really the only thing I can think of. I could go for another Osmentius dupe. I think he's actually NP3 for me. <laughs> Which makes me sad. He's very strong. I never use him because I have Quetz. So I just use Quetz. I pump Quetz with so much extra bonus stuff to make sure that she's actually usable. <sighs> That's sad. But yeah. If you're talking about pure general unit, who are the best ones from here? Waver and Tamamo are probably your two best bets. If you're someone who's just looking for a good unit and maybe you decide to start right here at the 6 year anniversary... I would say Waver and Tamamo are your two best bets. Uh, Waver, more so of a better bet. Tamamo, you're really banking on, hey, maybe I'll get a bunch of other arts units. I think Tamamo is better if you already have established a bunch of arts units on your team that you can use with Castoria, where Waver is just better in general and doesn't lock you 100% into arts because you can always go into one of the other ones. You can go into Buster, which we're going to be going into with Vich pretty soon. You can even go into Quick if you feel like it, even though he is not the best for Quick. But in theory, you could definitely go for it. It's 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 someone who can you can just like splash onto any team, and he can make just a little bit better. But yeah, th th those are the units that are coming up. I really wanted to bring this up just because, again, 
I can't believe they've released this banner featuring Songzong and Ozymandias, knowing full well that coming up soon, you could if they you deeply cared about either one of these characters, you could just simply uh, get them for free and not have to worry about summoning on a banner. But even though I said all that, I did summon for Quetz basically every single time she showed up. So what do I actually know? Not much. But yeah. Not that that's today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you do, feel your free to tell me about which one you're going to be picking up. If you're also getting quets, I wish you all the best of luck in the world because you clearly have some very fine taste. But if you're someone who's brand new to the game and you're still looking for something, feel free to actually say if you have questions. Sometimes I'm not awake or I'm busy with work, but there were there are enough people that come to these videos that will actually answer your question <laughs> if you have them, or I'll get to them eventually, whichever one happens first. But yeah, feel free to say whatever you feel like saying. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next video soon. It I anniversary cannot be that far off. How close are we actually? It's in July. Oh my god. It's in July? Oh man, I feel like I always forget it's in July. Oh, yeah, that's right. July. July. Yeah, that's right. It's always July. Oh my god, that means we have to have, like... Oh, that's crazy. So yeah, there's not a lot of time left <laughs> for anything. Well, yeah, yeah, it was right around the corner, and I think that's not too off from Lost Belt 6, which is the release of Morgan and absolutely every other person from Lost Belt 6 that needs to be released for the GSSR, which is another video that I'll probably have to end up talking about. Let's see here. Yeah, both of these need to be out here. So they use these two coming soon. And yeah, anyway. That's the end of the video. You want to say goodbye, boy, because you're just hanging around in the background? Remember. Be free. You heard him, folks. Be free. Till next time. Goodbye.